Here's a radio you've probably never seen or even heard of before. Word up. Back, 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 back. Guy. It was made in mountain. What's up, y'all? It's your man, Jay Sands. Sands on Sports with... Amari's uncle, Grap. Grap loving the place to be. No doubt. What up, we, y'all? Yeah, what's up? What's up? We got a special guest, Pete Rock. What's up, Pete? Pete, peace. What up, y'all? Mayor of Mount Vernon, New York, in the building. What so up, what's up? Yes, sir. So, yo, Pete, man, we're going to start Represent, off the first Represent. quarter. Represent. This is the first quarter. We're going to start it off just real quick, 20, 20, 30 seconds. Let people know who Pete Rock is. Um, Mount Vernon, New York, Bronx, New York. Um. You know, hip hop producer from Mount Vernon, the cousin of Heavy D. No doubt. And um, you know, and uh, son of Mount Vernon, man. You no, know what I mean? no doubt. And my big brother. <laughs> check this and my, out. And my, yes, grab, grab lover. Grabs uh, Peace the first alumni because he was exactly. actually on the show back in the day too. So this is like alumni visit back from you know Pete Rock second time being on Sands on Sports. That's right. So, that's right. But we still want to go over it. What are your favorite teams starting with football? Um, you know, I always roll with the Giants. You know okay. what I'm saying? And I roll with the Knicks. NYG. You know what I'm saying? And the second options would be Jets and Nets. <laughs> okay. What about baseball? Um, Yanks. Hey. Mom, mom's, <laughs> is a Mets. Mom, mom's is a Mets fan. But, I, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm a Yankees fan. Okay, well, well, we're going to get back to that. And, and for people that don't yeah, know, we are. Pete Rock's about 6'3", 6'4", 6'2", something like that. So he's 6'2", so 6'2". Right. Okay, yeah, so Pete Rock's a big dude, so he's in the paint. So, Pete, what, what sports did you play growing up? I played everything, man. I played no a little doubt. bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, you know, the best, uh, you know, athlete out there, but I, I did go for it, you know what I'm saying? And I did pull your camera back a little bit. Oh, yeah, I did, go. I did, I did go for it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And um, I played uh, a little bit of everything, man. No doubt, no doubt. So we're gonna go back to the Yankees. What is your starting five all-time Yankees ever? You can go back to Babe Ruth. Your starting five Yankees. Starting five Yankees probably have to be Jeter. Um, let's see, Jeter, uh, Rivera. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Uh, um, uh, Jesus, um, uh, I only remember them mm-hmm. two dudes from the from the from the <laughs> roster that I. I Reggie the Jackson. Re- Yo, Reggie Jackson. Yeah, Reggie. Oh, Reggie, okay. Reggie, Reggie. Reggie's a Reggie's a legend, definitely. Um, yeah. Winfield was the the Mets, right? No, Winfield. Nah, he was with y'all. He was yeah. with the Yankees. Yeah, he was with the Yankees. He was with the Yankees. So I liked Winfield. I liked Reggie, of course. No doubt. But like, you got when one we, more. When we when we um talking about like the latest, I would say Jeter. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I would say the Latin um the Latin pitcher. Yeah, 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 Rivera, yeah, Rivera. And, 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 C, and CC also, CC, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Definitely. And, um, Sebastian. Yep, yep. Yeah. Have you, do, you, do you go to Yankee? Yeah, pull your games? camera back so you can see you. There you go. Yeah. Say that again? So do you be going to Yankee games? Um, I took my son to, to one okay. during, his school, during his school year before all this craziness started going yeah. on. Yeah. And then, um, I maybe uh, maybe went to like maybe two others before, and um, in my lifetime, mm-hmm. I can say in all maybe four times. <laughs> Man, I, I can imagine you DJing in that stadium. You know what I mean? I yeah. <laughs> well, I did do that in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, Knicks. yeah. Okay, okay. What was that experience like? Getting getting the, uh, DJ for the Knicks. 
it was a great experience, man. You know what I'm saying? Getting to meet all the players and then seeing all the celebrities coming through and showing love, you know, while I'm set set up there on the side DJing. It's, it's pretty it's pretty neat setup, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt. No I, I will say one time I will say one time I saw you on the Jumbotron. I was watching the Knicks game and saw oh, you wow. on the Jumbotron. <laughs> Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. yeah, that was crazy. That's crazy. So, so, look, my other question is to you is, when did you become a Yankees fan? Because, you know, we was raised on the Mets. Yeah, we, I mean, I was always when a Yankees fan. I was always actually, because I, I figured, you know, it's New York. New York is New York. Right. New York. My, yeah, but, right. Mom, <laughs> my, but mom always liked the Mets. You know, being as that right. from the BX, I, I say I say Yankees. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. I feel you. Just rolled with it. Yep. No that's doubt. What's up. No, no okay. doubt. Definitely. A, that's definitely a Bronx thing. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Well, yo, check it out. That 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 sound right there is the end of the first quarter. That means we're moving out of the first quarter. And get my horn right. We're moving out of the first quarter. And we going into the second quarter. Now I want to ask you a question because I know I know you know about your superheroes and whatnot. If we were yeah. to have a UFC battle with all the superheroes, who's coming out? I know who you're gonna pick, but who's coming out on top? Oh man, an MC battle? No, superheroes. A superhero no, no. battle. A UFC. Superhero UFC. Battle. UFC. UFC fighting. In the in the in the ring, you got the Hulk, you got MMA, Superman, you got everybody. MMA fighting. Come on, man, you know who I'ma say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already know I'ma say. <laughs> you already know I'ma say the Hulk, brother. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. How, explain to people, man, how you and the Hulk got this connection, man. Well, me and this guy, man. You know, <laughs> me and this guy right here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> since seven years old, since, since the first time, since the first, I loved him in the comic books, but when I saw him on TV, I was pretty shook, you know what I'm saying, for a little bit. And my older brother, Ruddy, yeah, rest yo. in peace, right. you know what I'm saying? He used to tease me and let me make him watch, watch it. it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you yep. know, with that. I remember with, that. I used to be scared of it, but then I started loving it, you know what I mean? After a couple of, you know, I guess episodes, you know, I just started like liking it. Yeah, I remember the picture with the green Hulk fist. I mean, I seen that picture before, I believe. When you was young, yeah. you had a little green Hulk fist and all that. You know what I'm saying? He, when crazy. he was young too, he bought the Hulk muscles too, bro. Oh, remember yeah. that from, oh, from wow. Heroes World? Wow. Yep, he had, the, he had the inflatable Hulk muscles. You wear them under your shirt. Yep, exactly. <laughs> had them joints. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. That's still. Are, yeah. are, are, are you still game? Are you still on the sticks? You playing the sticks still? You kind of left that alone. I mean, I mean, you know, I've got a chance to go play now since we all in the crib and everything. But oh, okay. I've been, I've been making beats more than doing that, but no doubt. I did pull out the old Xbox and stuff like that. Okay, okay. So we on Xbox, gotcha. Yeah, or, or Dream or Dreamcast. You know okay, okay. Well, well hey. Oh. Any news? <laughs> You still got Marvel superheroes like the fighting game? Yeah, I still Damn, got that. I want that, yo. Marvel versus yeah. Capcom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Bad. that. I want that. Yeah, so, you know, I got that. Uh, Tyson, I got yeah. it somewhere in here too. They showed your man Tyson a couple days ago with all that still popping, and he talking he's about still a quick and fast, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming when back they, though. Yeah, man, he's coming back, and uh, it's good to see him do. You know, you know, back at it again because that's. He's my favorite fighter, man. For okay. real, real, man. It's a lot of classic fighters, man, but something about Mike, man, I love, bro. Well, guess what? Explain mm -hmm. how it felt when he lost to Buster Douglas. Oh, uh, man, that hurt me, man. That? It, hurt my, it hurt me to my core, man. Like, I couldn't believe it, man. I was in shock. I was like, nah, Mike, get up, get up and beat this dude down. <laughs> but Buster just lost his mom, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. You know, with that mm. said, you know, the, the powers that be, the angels, you know, bless them with the wind, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I, I, I check out Mike hot boxing, and that's very entertaining. Like I said. That, that was a wake-up call for Mike. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody that gets gets one. You know I, what I mean? I, I put it to you like this. Some losses in life might save your life. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. You yeah. know, like, like, like to the world, getting that belt mm -hmm. might have been the most important thing for him, but... 
for him, survival, you know, seeing if, you know, if he would have kept on winning, maybe something more tragic would have happened. But he lost. Yeah. That was the life. Yeah. That he, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy where Mike is at. And if you want to come back and punish some boys, I'm yeah. there. Front no row, pay per view, all that. So, no yo, doubt. this is halftime. We at halftime. So, yo, you go ahead, get your popcorn. Go ahead, you know, get a drink, go to the restroom. How you feeling, Grat? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. No good doubt. to see no Big Joe on the set. You know what I mean? We're rolling. We're going to go to the third quarter. We're in the third quarter. And I want right. to talk to you, Pete. This has always been in my mind, man. You got mm-hmm. two of the illest shout outs in hip hop mm-hmm. Jive Talk with Cool G Rap. Mm-hmm. And probably for me, the best battle song, this song ever, LL Cool J to the Break It Down. To me, that's that he took out three giants in one song. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Can you, mm-hmm. Do you remember walking into the studio after LL didn't drop that song? Of course. I mean, I, I mean, Molly Ma did the did the beat and everything. So I remember when he, you know, played it on the radio for the first time. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know. To the break of dawn was like that 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 where he went at Kumo D and Ice T and you know a couple other cats. It was it was pretty um high pop. Hammer MC Hammer. MC Hammer, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, MC, yeah, yeah. MC yeah, Hammer, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, that was that was ill, yeah. And like I said, man, at the end he's like, "Yo, Pete Rock just walked in the, walked in the building." I was like, "Oh man, if I don't walk yeah. in that, that would be crazy." Yeah, man, that was dope, man. To see right. that. Go. <laughs> Yeah, Definitely yeah. don't mm-hmm. see that go down. LL is a beast, man. But, yes, uh, he is. Yeah, sure heard, is. I heard he's working with Q Tip now, but I don't know. You know yeah, don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I haven't heard anything yet, but but I, I'm, I mean, I've heard beats Q Tip is making and that sound that sounded pretty pretty dope. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully he'll he'll, he'll jump on what I what I what I heard Tip playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, LL to me is still dope. Man. So 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 yeah. let. Yeah, definitely. So let me ask you this, Pete. Like, you are a lot of people's favorite producer, right? Mm-hmm. So who is Pete Rock's favorite producer? Let me see him right here, bro. <laughs> no doubt. Dilla Dog. Jay Dilla. Jay Dilla. Awesome. That's what it is. No you know one saying? knows Jay Dilla. Awesome. No one knows question. That's what it is. Let me dope, ask- dope. Let me ask you this. Do you have a story of Grap getting into your record story? Like when y'all was a little younger, you might not want to Grap to be in your records. How you, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> have a story I, don't think, I don't think it was, I don't think it was ever like that. With, okay, with okay, cool. Grap used to, we used to my make pops. beats, you know what I'm saying? But my father right. was like that. My, but Grap, Grap used to yeah. make beats off the, off the records that was laying around. Okay, got you, got you, got you. So, 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 let me say this, Pete. Do you remember when I went into the living room and stacked all of Daddy's forty five on his turntable? And yeah. Then the next day, he put that TV there to keep me out. Yep, exactly. <laughs> keep us both out. I was in there too. I was in there too. Yeah. 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 Word up. And your yeah. pop was yeah. originally from Jamaica, uh, huh? Yeah, definitely, bro. Wow, wow, that's yeah, awesome. Mm-hmm. So you can play with the dub plates, not, 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 not one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I play with him now, I got him now, but you know. Oh yeah, yeah, back, yeah. Back right. then he, he was, now. He, yeah, yeah. Back then he was very into his uh, 45s. Awesome, man, awesome. Well, yo, we're going to the fourth quarter. It's the no fourth doubt. quarter. Four, four, what do we do four quarters for? Four square miles. That's what the four Four quarters. square miles. Four square miles. No, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Shout out to the Vernon. And this yes, fourth quarter, uh, we, we do it every once in a while, stiff for the week. And this okay. week, you know, stiff is basically when somebody call you a stiff, it, it's an insult. It's not it's not a compliment. You stiff, you know what I mean? So right. the stiff mm-hmm. person, people, organization, group for the week has to be the police. The mm. police are the stiffs mm. of the week from the NYPD, Francisco Garcia, uh, be- beating that one boy up and wrestling people to the one boy. Uh, Los Pierce, Angeles too, man. LAPD, Jersey City, they just had a riot. And, and I right saw now, that. What, what we're noticing is that the police are basically enforcing everything in the brown, black and brown neighborhoods, but not so much in the city. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not, everyone else is living free and and peacefully, while we get harassed and dragged and beat and thrown in jail and shot. That ain't right, man. 
Yes, it happened in the Bronx too. It just happened in the Bronx too. Yep. yep yeah, yep. I, I'm, I got I got posted about three of them, man. I posted about three things, and then don't forget about the the Georgia jogger, the black Ooh. young Georgia jogger. I posted that on my gram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All that's foul. All that. All that is is just foulness, yeah. man. And I feel yeah. like it's being done for a reason. Foul man. ball, man. You know what I'm saying? It's foul being ball. done. It's being done for a reason. You know, because I believe there's, uh, you know, there's some sense of fear that they have with, you know, maybe not being around anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, and it's very blatant too. It's, it's not like they're trying to hide it. I mean, this, this is 2020. Everybody got a got a camera, so we yeah. So we they take it, they sight. take they take they trying mm -hmm. to take it out on us. They want to bring us, you know, they want to instill fear in the black community and just keep, you know, harassing and 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 you know, one day somebody's gonna uh, Robin Hood is gonna pop up out of nowhere and yeah. start. Fighting back, man. And they, and you know what I'm saying? Gonna, they're gonna be extra mad and, about that. And he's gonna be good. He's gonna be like a superhero. He's gonna be hard to catch. And he's just, it's, it's just gonna be on, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of it, man. I, mm -hmm. I can't take no more. Man. Can't take yeah. it. Man. Yeah, and, and, and like like we was talking with Sensei, Elder Sensei, he was bringing up Colin Kaepernick, and, and that's why he was he was putting he was doing the nail. Well, Kaepernick man. was telling cats this a long time ago. He kept yeah. telling people this a long time ago he took a knee for things like that happening with the police why are the police treating or mistreating black people yeah for yeah. no for no reason no reason at all just because they mm -hmm. mad or, or just because they seen the black skin yeah yeah but but it's you been right, happening man. we are the, we are the, we mm -hmm. i believe really, really it's to promote disharmony too man that's the real reason to promote disharmony man so yeah that's yeah. what they're trying to do they're trying so to do that so it saying, can leave you know food it could leave a four yeah, hundred year stink on on the people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So because people know. are connecting through this thing, through this whole madness that's going on, people are still staying peaceful with each other. Yeah. I, and where I, you know, in my in my outlook on and dealing with the way you know moving around and stuff. Yeah. White folks say what's up to me. Lit Asians, Blacks, Africans, everybody. You know. What yeah. I mean? So I think promote disharmony. You know That's what, I mean? what it because is. And it's people like people are, are realizing we're all in the same situation. When I so speak well, I only speak of the evil ones what, that's doing the, 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 the promote that. I only speak of the evil people that's that's doing this man. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the fact Word that up. you know that they do this to us. Word mm -hmm. up. Word up. So, so did we ask him about his starting five? Yeah his we got starting the starting five, five <laughs> MCs. Oh, okay, yeah, we can do that if he wants to. Pete, you got your starting five MC. Yeah. Um, uh, Prodigy. If you had like a basketball team, who would be your starting Prodigy. five MC? Prodigy point guard? Um, Prodigy. Uh, He'd be at man. the point, huh? Lyrically, lyrically. Who you got for shooting guard? Um. Who I got for shooting guard? I would have to say Nas. Nas, Nas, definitely Nas. Okay. He's Nas a shooter. Who <laughs> you got for small forward? Small forward. Um, the three man. Hmm. You could go with Ghost, height too, Ghost. whatever. You know what I mean? Ghost mm. face. Yeah, I was think I was gonna say Ghost. Hey. Okay. Goes back to three. Who you got at the four? Power hey. forward. I think you should come from Mount Vernon. I'm just letting you, I'm just putting it out there. I think number four the, is the guy from Mount Vernon, the most versatile MC ever. One of them. Gotta be from Mount Vernon. No, uh, but he's the center, bro, because that's the centerpiece. But okay, got you. You know what I'm saying? Power forward gotta be. Yeah, that's mm, heavy. Biggie. Ooh, Biggie got power forward. Okay. That's your four, and then and, who's who? I know who at the center. And heaven's at the center. That's yeah. capital H. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's yes, a dope sir. starting yeah. five right there, bro. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So prodigy at the one, Nas at the two, Ghost at the three, Ooh. Biggie at the four, and heavy at the D. five. No doubt. Yeah. Well, we should. Hey, yeah. 
gonna end it on that note. It's the end of the fourth quarter, so we gonna get out of here. I just want to say happy birthday today to Willie Mays. Today is Willie Mays' birthday. Happy birthday, Willie Mays. Also, R.I.P. to Florian Schneider from Kraftwerk. Yeah, Y'all remember Trans Europe Express? You know, of what I mean? he was one of the founders of that. So, R.I.P. to him. Happy birthday, number and also, all of that. R.I.P. to our brother Dave in New York. Today is his birthday too, as well. So yes, sir. Dave New York. The Dave New York's S.I.P. to my brother Dave, yes, man. Yes, sir. You got anything on yeah, the rap? And uh, um, the brother, the uh, yeah, I just want you know, as, as usual, salute to Combat Jack. You know, the no pioneer doubt. in this right here. Big up to my, big up to my big bro. Thank you for coming on. Thank Pete, you. We appreciate no you. No doubt, bro. Um, Anytime, love, love man. To, to Mount Vernon. No doubt. Yes. Love to Mount Vernon. Love to all the party people in the world. Thank y'all for checking in. No doubt. No man. doubt. I'm Jay You got Stan. any outro? You got anybody you want to shout? Yeah, Everybody out in the world, man. Just be safe, bro. That's real. That's real. Well, you're no digging. Doubt. I'm Jay Sands. That's Grab Love. And that's Pete Brock. And this is Sands hey. on Sports with Grab. Yeah. Peace.